not intimidated by any buyers. Cash is king, winner takes all. You don't know what you're going to encounter. Good morning, Medway. It's Friday, April 18th, and I'm Morgan. And I'm Mackenzie, and welcome back to another episode of Medway Morning. The Medway girls rugby team competed in a tournament yesterday at South Huron. The first game against St. Christopher, Medway came out with a strong score of 10 to 5. Try scorers were Jenna Vandenhubel and Veronica Harrigan. In the second game against South Huron, the girls won 17 to 0 with try scorers Keely Baker and Kaylin Wamble and Keisha Davis with both a try and conversion. The third game was a tough battle against St. Anne's. Medway came out strong with a try from Veronica Harrigan. Unfortunately, Medway came up short with a score of 19 to 5. Heading into the finals, Medway once again faced St. Anne's. After a scoreless first half, Medway's tough play and strong defense held St. Anne's for most of the second half but ended up giving up a try. Congrats girls on a great day of rugby and for a second place finish. Last week Mrs. Farkison's food and nutrition class was cooking up something big. Here's Jess with the story. When you try your best but you don't succeed When you get what you want but not what you need when you feel so tired but you can't sleep Stuck in rivers Hey MTV, I'm just here standing with Ms. Farkason and we're just wondering what's going on in the food lab today? It looks very busy. You know what? It's a great day today. We are preparing meal for 300 people um, for the Operation Mobilizing Hope which uh, is part of a Salvation Army program to feed the homeless on the streets. Wow, 300 people, that's a lot, and it sounds like a very good deed you're doing. Who's funding all this? Um, our student council has gratefully provided the money. And when is all this taking place? Tonight, we are cooking it all today, and then we will put it all into, uh, we have some great big red totes um, they, that will hold the heat. Uh, Mr. Thornborough will take them down for us, and uh, Mr. Tim Sharp will make sure they get given out tonight, usually between about 7 and 9. With it being so cold and wet today, it'll be a great meal for them. Hey, Rebecca, so what are you making over here? We're making cornbread for the Salvation Army dinner tonight. Oh, that's exciting. So um, why are you guys doing all this? Is it part of your curriculum? Um, we've learned about how a lot of people live in poverty and don't get the nutrients they need. So Ms. Ferguson thought that we'd make a meal for everybody to have so that people get nourished. And it's a good meal that they don't necessarily get every time. Something good for them to have when it's cold out. Well, this sounds like an awesome opportunity. And thank you so much for doing this. And thanks, Student Council. Back to you, MTV. Thanks, Jess. A reminder that Purple Course verification sheets are due to your homeroom teacher for Tuesday, April 24th. If you have a change to your courses for next year, please handwrite it on your sheet and have your parents sign it. Then bring it to your homeroom teacher by the 24th. Course changes for next year will not be honored after April 24th. A reminder that the OSAP presentation is today at 9.30 in guidance. Students need to have been signed up prior to these announcements in guidance to attend. Grade 9 band rehearses today at lunch. That's banned for all grade 9s at junior lunch in the band room. <laughs> the junior boys rugby team played aggressive, smart, and clean in their tournament yesterday where they placed second overall. Defeating three out of their four opponents, there will be no junior rugby practice after school today. Soon Medway will be having a blood donor drive. Here's Kent with that report. The officer found me and I was bleeding to death. I started off with a cold. Eventually my doctor sent me to the hospital and told me I had a leukemia. Madison has a heart defect. They were pretty convinced Madison wasn't going to come home. It will be a lifelong battle for Madison. Those units of blood saved my life. We realized that Canadian Blood Services was going to be a major part of our lives for the rest of our lives. Thanks to all the donors. You just realized how many people were actually there. They weren't there in person, but their blood was there. The lady from the grocery store, the man that cuts your hair, trying to help save your child's life. Become it's that time of year again, Medway. 
The Medway Blood Donor Clinic will be held Thursday, May 2nd in the small gym from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. You must be 17 years old, in good health, and feeling well for the day of the clinic. You must have identification and check with your teachers before you make an appointment to make sure you are not missing a test or a presentation. The sign-up sheets are in the office. Canadian Blood Services, it's in you to give. Thanks, Ken. And don't forget, you'll need photo ID the day of the clinic. Make sure you sign up in the office. Anyone still looking to join Medway Youth for Social Justice in We Are Silent, please see Ken Mills for a sticker to give your reasons after period room, period one in room 210. This is a reminder that Mrs. McKill's class is not in the pack today, but will be in the library conference room. Pizza will be sold at both lunches for $2 a slice outside the calf. Your senior rugby boys team traveled to Laurier University this past Monday. The boys in red once again represented Medway with pride, panache, and predatory pale. High flying tries were touched down by Nick High Tempo Rempel, Omar Superstar Albumi, <laughs> and Nick Two Quick Donation scored twice. Overall organization was sensational under the command of Jordan the Chosen One Robson and Sean Always On Canley. Copious kudos are credited to Medway's defense with powerful performances put forth by Dylan the Real Deal Goose, Matt Superstern Coburn, and Tyler the Rottweiler McPhee. Wonderful work, fellas. You have done your school and communities well. Could Brett Matthews and Craig Mutter please see Miss McKillop outside of guidance at the start of senior lunch? Attention all senior students who are attending the dance tonight. Medway and the program Smart Risk hope you arrive safe. Come to the library conference room at senior lunch for a demonstration of the dangers of texting and driving through Mario Kart. Bring a friend and see firsthand how texting and driving can impair your driving and endanger those around you. Prizes will be given out for participating. Archers and volunteers are reminded to meet at the rifle range doors at 1.45 today. Now here's Ken braving the elements to get us this weekend's weather. Good morning, Medway. I'm Ken here with your weather forecast for the weekend. This Friday, it's going to be a high of 13 and a low of 4 degrees with isolated showers. What was that for? No. I'm not going to take it back. No. This Saturday is going to be a high of 8 degrees and a low of negative 4, and it's going to be mostly, cal mostly cloudy. No, get, get away. No. I'm not going to do it again. No. I'm, I'm done. I'm doing it in here now, you know. Sunday it's going to be a high of 8 degrees and a low of negative 4 and it's going to be mostly sunny. Uh, ow! No! Okay, no, I'm done. And that's your weekend forecast today, Medway. Back to you, MTV. And happy birthday, Parker, from Dree, Courtney, Paige, and Aaron. And a big happy birthday to Rachel Van Loon. Love Kenzie, Jordan, Erica, and Brooklyn. Well, that's all your announcements for today, Medway. Thanks for tuning in to MTV and have a great semi-formal weekend. Morgan, will you go to prom with me? Oh my god! <laughs>